Hey everyone and welcome to part 6 of creating a C-Sharp RPG game. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up the enemy stats and actually taking some of the player stats and transferring them over to the enemy. So if we do something like a simple attack we want to send the damage over to our enemy. Now later on we're going to be calculating in a bunch of different stats like defense, uh, magic resistance or anything like that that may go into the calculation but for now we're just going to get the basic setup of how we would do this and also later on um, we're going to be adding in the different angles to tell if you're facing the enemy um, required distance you have to be away from the enemy for the attack to work and stuff like how it's set up in most um, MMORPG games or single player RPG games in some cases but yeah so what you want to do first is create a enemy stat script and you want to drag and drop that onto our enemy. And we'll just jump into the code. I set some of the stuff up already. Uh, what we're going to be using right now for the basics is just career HP and max HP, just to keep track. And from here, we're also going to throw this piece of code into our update function. Now, what this is for is just making sure that um, our HP doesn't go negative. Now, if you want it to be negative, um, you don't have to add this in but most people will probably want it to stop at zero. And then we're going to want to create a public void receive damage, and it's going to take in a float variable. So when we go to send this over, we're going to send over a float number, and it's going to go in here, and it's going to take our current HP and minus equals what the damage is. So it's just going to subtract um, the damage from the current HP. And what we could also do is just a simple print, and we could just say um, damage done equals, and we can just do, actually we can just display our current HP. And if we wanted to, we could also add in that of how much damage, damage done, and enemy HP and we can just put damage in here like that. So this way without actually displaying it on screen through the GUI we can um, test out to make sure that this works in the console itself. So I'll save that and we can jump over to our user stats. Now we're going to want to access this enemy stats script so we're going to need to create a public and then enemy stats and from here we need to name this whatever we want. Um, we'll just do enemy stats script. Now you can shorten this up with you if you want, but I'm just going to be doing this. Now what we want to do in our start function is do equals, and then what we want to do is actually grab the stats um, from the object. And what we can probably do um, is not s set this up in our start, but actually when we select something, um, we can add it in there. So if we hit something, we'll just do it in here. Enemy stat script equals selected unit. Um, then we could do dot transform dot game object dot transform dot get component. And what we're going to want to grab is the enemy stats again. And this is just the way that C sharp works um, for grabbing scripts. It's um, not too basic, but I mean it works. So, but yeah. So once we actually have this done, we can actually use this to access the different components in the enemy stats. So uh, we could just create a, something as a test. So we'll just do a void, and we'll call this basic attack. So we'll be using this whenever we call our basic attack. It'll call this script. So we want to access the enemy stat script dot and we're want to, going to want to go in and do the receive damage. Now what we could do is we could add in a random number. We can add in um, a random number from our stats but right now we're just going to be adding in a base number. So we'll do just 10 for now. Nothing fancy. And then we'll want to do something for basic attack. So we'll just do a test function real quick. Like I said before, we don't, we're not doing anything fancy right now with the attack system. But uh, get button down. 
And then we're going to want to do something like we can just use one for now. So pretty much every time we have one, and let's see here. Um, what we're going to want to do in the future too, I won't do it right now, but we want to make sure, or actually I probably could do it right now. We just want to make sure that our selected unit is not null. Because if we're calling this and we're calling this script, um, it might get a little tricky and throw us out some errors. So, yeah. So when we call our basic attack, we could actually put, we could put it in here. We could put it in anywhere. Um, I guess we can just throw it in here for now. Does not equal null. All right, we'll just leave it like that. We're not really adding too much to it. But anyways, um, that should be our basic attack script. Go back in here. Damage. And create HP. And I just forgot to add in a plus symbol to here. Okay. So we'll jump into game real quick. And put one. Oh, I must have did get button down instead of get key down. Okay. So we'll just bring up our console real quick and test and see if this works. So we'll go and select our enemy and do our basic attacks. Damage done, enemy HP, negative 10. All right, so what we forgot to do here is go and set up our enemy HP. You can set it as more than that. Maybe we can do 1,000 just because we're doing 10 damage at a time. Reopen up the console. And now we can see every time our damage done is 10, and it's subtracting from our main HP. So if we go down to like 20, and I guess it goes to negative 10. Um, damage. You could also add in here if core HP is um, less or equal to zero, do not minus from that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I guess we'll go into a more advanced stuff later. This is just the basic way of setting up an attack system.